Hi guys, um, it's been a while, so there was uh, I promised a couple of videos on the, the Yesu here, but unfortunately I had to go back over to England for a while, um, and I really didn't have a chance to, to make any videos whatsoever. And I did notice that there was more comments regarding um, the quality of the, the audio on these videos. So I'm trying a microphone at the moment, so let's hope that works. Uh, if not, I don't know. But uh, hopefully something's better than nothing. And uh, I'm sorry if it was the kind of getting on some people's nerves. It, it was what it was, but fingers crossed it's going to work. So the um, <clears throat> the Yesu, the uh, $25 Yesu, I, I only had the um, trailer end out the back of the radio for power. I didn't have the, uh, the, the, um, the, the linked end that goes to the battery or power supply. And it had a, uh, like a little T connector, which is, I think it's typical on, I think on Kenwood and, and Yesu's. So what I've just done is I've just made a, a quick connection, heat shrunk it so that it uh, can't cause any problems. And hopefully this thing's going to work. We'll uh, we'll see. Okay, so hopefully this will work with the uh, power hooked up. And, uh, this is the little button here, I believe. So here it goes. Ah. Nothing. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, so it's uh, it's a couple of days later. Um, kind of figured out what the problem was, and. I was thinking that this radio was a bit like my old FT100D, whereby when you had the head unit off, there was a, a copper connection on the, the, the base radio, the base of the radio, and the, the head unit. Well, on these, that isn't the case. It has to have a little cable here, as you can see. See that in there? It connects the uh, the head unit to the main radio, and I didn't know that until until I opened this up and noticed that there was no copper contacts on this. And a little bit, a little bit more work on on the internet, and uh, you can buy them for, off of Amazon. A tiny little thing, and it's a bit fiddly to get back on. I must admit, I'm not, I'm not too keen on it. But uh, it does mean that I can get the head on and in place. So now that that's on, it fires up all okay, which is good. Happy about that. And then I'll just hook the microphone up. So that's the, uh, the mic all wired up now. So what I've done was I've um, I put in the, the local repeater and uh and the tone and uh yeah well here goes it's uh va3 xuk testing and there you go whoa yeah don't like that and the scratch up a bit so there you have it, guys. It, uh, it seems to work. I've got a little bit more testing to do on it. 
but uh, a little bit of looking on the on on the internet, find out what was what. I'm just as I said earlier, or did I? I don't know, but I'm just wondering if somebody sold this because they didn't realise it needed that little doohickey cable in there to to make it work. Uh, it's possible. As I say, I, I was used to the FT100D, whereby it, uh, you only used the cable if you had the, the, the face, you know, you had it separated, it was a separation cable. But for this, it looks like you need uh, the short one to, to use it on the, the main radio, and a long one if you're going to have the head remotely mounted somewhere in the car or in the shack. But we got over it, it works. So I'll do some testing and... Um, We'll have another look at it another day, I guess. And thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, and please subscribe, share, you know, all that stuff. It all helps. Thanks again, guys. Have a good evening.